Hello guys, in today's video we are going to talk about picking, so let's get into it. The first thing we need to understand is that different mats can affect the way you pick. Also I can aim at chest level, one behind the wood, and only head or above with the other two. This result in different damage you can do. Here you see you have to stand up and expose yourself. When aiming downside you can reduce the damage you take because your elbow is showing less. There is a 5 second cooldown which will reset the animation showing your elbow. Resetting or editing will also reset that animation. If you get too close to a wall, your elbow will automatically stick out. Go back to get a better angle. Depending on where you aim, you can hide your elbow. Here aiming close to the wall will make my elbow stick out, when aiming a little bit to the right will not. That can make the difference between shooting or hitting your wall. Aiming at something behind the window, like a build, will make you your angle change. You can see I cannot shoot anymore when it's gone. Or maybe your enemy. You can see that even the breathing animation will make me aim downside or not. This can make the difference between hitting your shot or not. Look at how high I can get with only a floor below me. This will make the difference between shooting or crouch picking. Also when using an arch edit, you can sneak bullet when aiming really close and being hidden like uh, behind brick here. When using this trick, uh, your enemy cannot shoot back at you. The angle is really tricky so you'll have to uh, train to get it down. Even if they can hit you, the trade is not worth. All shotgun work. For this angle, you have to aim close to the wall. If there's a cone inside, you will have a better chance with this edit to hit max damage shot. Also, when resetting, it will push you back, meaning you can avoid bullets going through walls. When using brick on a U edit, you can see your opponent cannot hit you because it's actually hitting the stairs. You can bait a shot with this and maybe replace. You can also use this diagonal pick with the ramp. You just need to flip it and uh, it's actually going to block the shot and the uh, view from your enemy's POV. If you want, you can uh, use an edited floor above so you can have an even better angle and fall back after shooting. Even if they destroy the stair, they have to go all the way back to have an angle on you. Thank you for watching the video guys, see you next time. 